Salam, salam. This is Unity, and this is a Unity moment. I was sitting here thinking, you know, I was looking at this video on YouTube about this, um, this mall we have in Tallahassee called Tallahassee Mall. And I was thinking about, you know, the, the lady that was, um, you, you're looking over the mall, because the mall at one time, I moved to Tallahassee when I was like 17. And we mainly, we had three malls here when I first moved to. We had Tallahassee, Governor Square, and um, Norwood Mall, which Norwood eventually closed. And then we just had Tallahassee and Governor Square. Governor Square is like kind of underground and upstairs. It's the biggest mall in Tallahassee. So we had Tallahassee Mall, and it got it, that's where it got the AMC movie theater, and it had Gaffers, it had goodies, it had Montgomery Ward, it had all this stuff. It was like I mean, we I did a photo shoot when I was working on Boab, um, Beauty of All Black Women. I was working on a magazine at one time. It was probably on oh, no, oh, no, three. I remember we did like a little photo shoot out in Tallahassee Mall. I always liked the Tallahassee Mall. One of the first places um, that I ever bought an outfit from when I first moved to Tallahassee was Rave in Tallahassee Mall. And back then, it you know, it was it was like you know all level, the like one ground. Governor Square is upstairs and downstairs, but. Tallahassee is too, but it just was a it was spread wider. And Tallahassee Mall is I mean Governor Square is more higher. So anyway, y'all that mall talk. I was just when a lady was showing a video, she was just showing Ghost Town, all the stores, the nail salons, and all the restaurants is gone. And I remember probably like two years ago, me and my son had went in there and we ate. And it literally was five people during like um, lunchtime. It was five people in the um, in the area where you eat at in the um, restaurant area. And I'm like, wow. And I was just thinking, like, when she was showing all that, this used to be here, this used to be here. Clara's gone, this gone, that gone. Only thing is, there's like, um, I think belts in Burlington and. The movies mainly, Barnes and Noble and stuff like that, but it's literally like ghost town. It's no life. It's you. They used to have like, they used to have like um, fashion shows out there. They used to have all kinds of stuff out there. So it's, so I was just thinking how, you know, the only you know how we say stuff gonna last forever, and I was just thinking how, and just in life, everything has an ending. Every exception of one thing, energy. Energy can't be destroyed, only transformed. So that's like infinity, energy. But when we like in relationships, that's the ending. When we, that's why we grow. And it's just certain things. And a lot of times we don't want to let go of certain things, but. I was just thinking about sometimes, you know, you can be on your job. Some people be on their job for 5, or 10, 15, 20 years. And then they don't work there no more. And they feel like, you know, I think it's more they get comfortable. But they feel like that's it. You know, my life is ending. It's just some things run its course. Relationships, jobs. You know, if you stand in the place for a period of time and you leave. In life, things just have endings. And we got to. We can't just um, hold on to things that eventually it has to evolve. You have to evolve. And that's just like energy. It's the same as us. In a way, energy don't have an energy an ending, but in a way it do when I think about it. It's just, it move on to something else. But it's still there. You know, so... It was just, and that's just how the world is. I remember when I was a little girl, the neighborhood I lived in was a certain way. And if you go there now, it's not even that way no more. We live in a world where women can be men, men can be women. Like I was telling my, my son, you know, when I was growing up, you know, you, you seen gay people, you seen people that just, but it wasn't like it is now. Now, that that's the type of, I grew up. 
in that era. But now it's like this big thing. And, and I'm still trying to understand that because it's different from me. And people be like, oh, you're supposed to support it. I have people in my family that's gay or trans or whatever you say. But at the same time, when you grow up a certain way, it's like this is a different world. So the world that I knew as a child, where you had men, and every now and then you would see gay couples, but it was mainly white. Now you see a lot of Africans or African American women and men that have that lifestyle. It's it's, and even people. I one of my best friends is um, well, a couple of my, well, two of my best friends. But when we was younger, she was um, really tomboyish, and now she's she like women, and you know what what her. She's still that same person, but growing up, people would say, oh, she go she a little bull dagger or something like that. But you didn't really see it like you see now. So that world that I grew up in where, um, you know, you had men and women was together and even just the dollar, not just talking about that in general, even just the dollar, the dollar, you could do so much with the dollar. You, I remember you could buy, you, you could buy, spend a hundred, you could get a hundred piece of candy for a dollar but now you barely could buy one candy bar with a dollar so the main thing of this I was just sitting here I'm working on these right here these are one of my hot sellers she hated black woman I'm just kind of going over the um the the I know what's going on with me I'm going over the gold I'm kind of going in and I'm working on these for someone, which I gotta do another pair because the order came in. Original woman. I gotta go in with the gold on now. But, um, working on a couple of things. I'm thinking about that. Y'all know I gotta put that in there and wait tonight. I'm gonna show y'all now. I'm gonna show y'all the number five. But I was just thinking, um, sometimes when you live, live in the moment and enjoy it. Everything don't last forever. Everything don't last. Everything's got everything gotta have a, it's just the way things is it's just an ending and they tell us you know if we get married we're gonna be married forever and even situations like that it could be like you're with that person and you be like loving them and then eventually it go away it ends you know so that's my unity moment <laughs> I ain't done one like this just talking in a while so I, I'm going to start back doing more of my unity moments. Like, I do them, you know, different things. Unity moments could be about just different things, but I was just thinking about that. How everything has an ending. And even energy, I might think about it. Energy just transforms, but whatever it was in the beginning is something. It's a different type of energy in the end. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm hitting in my hands, y'all. On my other channel, I was I had got this henna from this door and I, I'm messing with I'm not finished I'm gonna do some more I'm gonna do some more brought it down, down here this funky but yeah I was just sitting and thinking about that beloved family so just always remember that nothing don't last forever you know you like when you see businesses when you see a beautiful couple together you be like in love next thing they ain't together no more and we be more hurt because we so comfortable and used to seeing it it's just the way the world is. Things change. We might have, like I met this old lady one time and she was named, I can't remember, I think her name was Lana. And I was, my son, one of my sons was younger and I was arguing at him about something. I was walking down the street, picking up on the bus stop. And she was saying something like, leave that baby alone. And I was just telling her, I said, he don't want to listen. My, I was saying, man, he don't want to listen. And then she, man, her was just talking. We started talking and then she said, I said, I know you don't see a lot of change in your life. She said, I have seen a lot of change in my life. She said, sometimes you don't agree with the change, but you got to go with it. You know, that's just like we live in the society. It's a lot of things I see in society I don't agree with. You don't have, she said, that's what she said. You don't have to believe it, but it's just the way this society is, you know? That's just like at one time we had control mainly of our children we can do what they want to do now if you do something a certain way they want to come into your house and take your children it's crazy but 
I, I, I just I could, I'm gonna do another video about just how society is and the control that they want to have over everybody. I think I'm gonna do one. I'm gonna talk about that in another unity moment. I just gotta get my mind together. All right, family. So let me um let you all go. Inshallah, you all are having a beautiful, beautiful day. And um, I got a couple of videos to upload, and I'll do that. And I did upload a new video on my other channel. I'm trying to be consistent with that, at least two a week. So, um, salam to all my new subscribers. And I'm almost at 2,000, beloved. So, um, we're going to have a... Um, we're, we. We as a, a family. We're going to have um, a giveaway. And it's not going to be nothing you have to do. So, as soon as we get to 2,000, I will, you know, once I get 2,000 after the video, I will, um, you know, do the giveaway. All right, fam, I got to get back to work. Got people got their orders. And also, oh, let me show y'all this before I go. Also, check out, I did a, to show y'all how to do these, these Michael Jackson fabric earrings. And you see when it's dry. And this particular pair is used with a um, laser. I just want to tell y'all that this is what it used with a laser print. These prints are lasers, and I notice when you when you use a laser print, your stuff don't um um roll up, but it's all gonna dry flat. But I notice these still drying. They got some gloss on them. They um so these really sell. A lot of people, if you know, like I said, if y'all in a video, if y'all don't um this video been really long. I don't care. It's life. You yeah, know um. If y'all don't really know how to make y'all could pick them up at, or off my website, which they just twelve like twelve dollars. So I think yeah, they like I think they wanted the cheapest pair I got. So and but you can also use any photo, but like I say, try to get it printed in laser. If you get it in inkjet, it'll still work. But I prefer to be printed in laser. It just look better, like you said, like right here, just look clearer and better. See that? So I just wanted to do you know that. I'm an artist, so I'm going to show my work. All right. Bam. Salam, salam. Enjoy your day. Okay? Peace, peace.